Watch you guys got another video on how to fix a corrupt BCD error on Windows. Now you can see the error code is 0xc0000098 and you can see it's a stop error code here. We call this a blue screen of death. Now assuming that your hard drive is in good working order and it is not failing and you don't have any other hardware issues and it is a software related issue, I'll show you how to fix it in this video. First off, we're going to boot up to the PC. Now, when you boot up your PC, generally what will happen is you can uh, boot up three times and it will crash because it will get a blue screen and it will generally take you to this location here. We're going to go to troubleshoot, then advanced options. Now, startup repair very rarely fixes anything on Windows, so I generally don't bother with this anymore because I've never seen it really repair anything. But you can try it if you want to click on this and try it. If it doesn't work, it will bring you back here, and then you can go on to the next step, which is command prompt. Inside the command prompt, you can type out a couple of commands here. So what we're going to do first is navigate to the C drive, which is our C drive here. I'm going to type DIR to make sure we can see the Windows directory inside here. From there, we're going to do boot rec space forward slash fix MBR, and then push enter. Type that out and push enter. You should see the operation completed successfully. Then we can move on to the next command, which is boot rec space forward slash fix boot. Once we do this, you should see the operation completed successfully. If you see access denied, then you've got an issue and you may need to uh, do this command to get it to work. So let me do this command here called boot sec space forward slash NT60 space SYS. Make sure you do that command there. Push enter. And you should see some information coming up saying successfully updated. Then you can try the boot rec space forward slash fix boot again. And hopefully this will then go through and it should say the operation completed successfully. Moving on to the next bit, which is the BCD edit space forward slash export space c colon backslash bcd backup just make sure the drive letter is the location of your windows directory if you are typing this out and that should work perfectly fine so we're just going to copy this out here and push enter and you should see operation completed successfully next up we're going to type this next command here which will hopefully resolve the issue so let's go ahead and type this one out here so i'll put it up on the screen here boot rec space rebuild bcd Type that out and push enter, and this should rebuild our BCD for us here. So let's go ahead and do this. Now, if you want to do a check disk, you can run a check disk on your drive to make sure the drive is functioning okay. That is another command you can do. I didn't add it inside here because if your drive is starting to get bad sectors or any errors on it or it's failing, then you'll need to replace that drive. So what you're going to do now is reboot your PC. And hopefully, once you reboot your PC, you should be able to get to the desktop and your PC should be working correctly. If it's not working correctly and you're still having issues, you can go back into the command prompt and run check disk and other commands like that to see whether your drive is failing. You can also go into the advanced options again and try system restore. If you've got a system restore uh, point available to you like this one, you could use the system restore point and go back to a time when your PC was working correctly. But remember, System Restore is disabled by default, and if you haven't enabled it and created System Restore points, then you're probably not going to have a System Restore point available to roll back to. Your last ditch hope is to either do a clean install of your operating system or use the Reset This PC option here. You can keep my files or remove everything. If you keep your files, it will keep your data. You can click on Cloud Download, and this will go ahead and prepare the PC ready for resetting it back to default settings. You will lose all your programs. It will tell you exactly what is going to happen to your system in a list on the screen in a second when it finishes doing its preparing. You should see a list of what the changes are going to be. And basically, once this is done, you should be back up and running. Now, if this still doesn't work after this, then you probably have an hardware issue. You can see it's going to change settings back to their defaults, keep your personal files and download and reinstall Windows and remove all the apps and programs that didn't come with this PC. These are the things that are going to happen 
when you use reset this PC. Now, like I said before, if this doesn't work and you're still having issues, then you've probably got an issue with some hardware. Maybe your drive is failing or something along those lines. I see so many people using uh, bad hard drives, even when they've got bad sectors, and they continue to try and use them, thinking that it's going to uh, continue to work. It will work for some period of time, but you're going to end up with blue screens and crashes and maybe risk of loss of data. So it's always best to replace the drive once the drive is starting to fail or you have any sort of bad sectors. Now, hopefully this video has been some sort of use to you to help you get your PC back up and running. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Have a lovely weekend. If you fancy a chat, pop on our Discord server. I'll see you over there. Thanks again. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.